Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator and today we are going to be taking a look at Working Title's latest release of the G3000. The latest release offers a couple of new features and some procedural changes that are going to be interesting to you guys that make things a little bit smoother in bringing the uh, flight plan into the FMS. We'll also talk about a little bit of channel news so stick around guys because we're getting started right now. If you are interested in learning how to fly the TBM 930 from Microsoft Flight Simulator, consider joining my Patreon site, level tier 2 or above, which gives you access to all of my guides, which include the A320, the G1000, and now the recently released Cessna Citation Longitude. These guides include everything from cockpit tours to uh, full instructions on how to use all the systems, creating your flight plans, as well as the different types of approaches and takeoffs that are available to the different aircrafts. They are extremely detailed, full with pictures, and uh, I identifying markers uh, to make your flight simming experience with this aircraft as easy as possible. Again, link down to my Patreon site found in the description below. All right, so first off, we've got a little bit of channel news. Uh, the guides updates. We have a guide update coming for the Cessna Citation Longitude, pretty good size update, and the TBM 930, specifically the G3000, G5000 integration. Um, and those were actually both going to be released either this evening or tomorrow morning, but because of this change that I've just found in the G3000, um, it will be delayed about a day or two. So Wednesday at the latest, we should have that ready for you guys to enjoy. Um, again, that's gonna be for Patreon subscribers, guys. If you're interested in any of my tutorial guides, we have a G1000, A320, TBM 930, G3000, and now the Cessna Citation Longitude PDF tutorial guides. They are all full flight, fully pictographed, um, so everything is um, as simple as can be, hopefully, um, to get you guys up and running in any of these aircraft that you may be interested in. Um, so again, Patreon site down in the description below. All right. Um, last piece of channel news real quick is next Saturday, I will be doing my first ever live stream on Twitch. Um, finally going to jump into that pool. I'm nervous as all heck, but I think it'll still be fun. Um, and that will be happening at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, and I will be posting a thing on YouTube um, reminding everybody about it later in the week. But if you guys are interested in doing a live stream with me, um, I look forward to seeing you guys all there. Again, very nervous, but I think it'll be a good time. So, all right. So now let's move on to what we are all here to discuss. All right. So what we're here to talk about is the latest rendition of the G3000 from Working Title. I believe this is version 7.3, if memory serves. Um, and what we're specifically going to be talking about is adding airways. Um, one of the issues that we used to have, if we take a look at this airway here, or this flight plan, excuse me, this is a flight plan departing out of Tucson. We have our SID, which is the Wildcat 3, our transition from the SID to, it, which is the Gila Bend, also using that same transition to jump onto the J104 airway, and exiting at Messi, flying direct to East Wind, jumping onto the Hollywood One Star or Standard Terminal Arrival Route. Oh, wow, that's weird. I just realized what it did. Let's uh, refresh that. Analyze route. Yeah, I bet. Uh, let's refresh that. That was weird. I'm not sure what happened there. Um, so let me make re remake that real quick. That was very odd. I didn't even know you could do that. Okay, so there we go. Oh, and of course, now you change it. That means the wind's changed. But it's still the same. The only thing that changed was the departure. So that's fine. So the issue that we used to have here was going from a transition to an airway. And really quickly, high explanation on this. If you're unfamiliar with what an airway is or it's a little confusing to you, airways are nothing more than the freeways and highways that we drive on the ground here. Okay, when you're driving, you get on the freeway, you're going state to state, you're crossing town, whatever. There are freeways that you guys take every day and you have your exit your on ramps and your exit ramps right so this would be our on ramp and this would be our exit ramp and the j104 is the freeway um airways are always really easy to um identify because typically it's always a letter with a number very i don't think i've seen it in any other way yet maybe i'm wrong there might be a couple caveats there but as far as i can tell you'll always see an airway in this kind of format letter numbers right same thing with the sit and the star. Sit and the star, you can see it's always a word with a number, word with a number. Okay, so they're pretty easy to identify once you learn what you're looking for. 
Now the problem is that our transition from the Bur 04 is here the bend and it was our entry point onto the J104. The issue here was that we weren't able to do that with the previous versions of the G3000. We would have to enter in manually the Gila Bend waypoint onto the J104 to Messi and then go back later and enter in the Burrow 4 SID. Okay, now we don't have to do that anymore, so I'm going to show you guys how we do this. So we're going to go to Flight Plan, and we're actually in Phoenix, but I'm just using this Flight Plan as an example. So setting our departure is Tucson International, arriving in Los Angeles, California. We're going to go to Procedures, hit Departure. 404, yep, that's fine. And then change the transition from B-Ball to Gila Bend, departing on runway 11 left. Again, not too concerned about that. We will enter the uh, arrival just so we have a complete flight plan, which is the Hollywood 1 and using the east wind transition. So we can now load that as well. Now let's go back to our flight plan page. We don't need to worry about the approach. And let's see what we've got so far. So there's coming out of the Gila Bend. There's our Gila Bend transition, and there's Eastwind. Okay. Now, what's missing is our entry route onto the J104. Now, what we typically do when loading an airway is you would select your waypoint, and you would use load airway. But this was part of the problem right here, is that because this is a transition point, we were never able to do that. This load airway was always blanked out. So we would have to manually create this section first, the Gila Band J104 Messi, and then go back and load the SID. Well, now we don't have to do that because what they've done is added this en route button. So we're going to click on that, and now you have an option. You can insert a waypoint, or we can load an airway. So let's load an airway. And you can see the entry point is already set as the Gila Bend. So we hit Airway, J104, select our exit, and you can sort alphabetically here. Select Messy, Load Airway, and boom, we got it. And these are the other exit and on-ramps that you would pass until you got to the one that you're looking for. So just think of these exit numbers. And that's all there is to it. Very simple stuff, okay? So, um, and again, I don't know if this particular method is a workaround. I'm kind of curious myself, but we'll have to check that out at a later date. Um, but I did want to show you guys that new method of entering in your airways now, especially when your transition point is your on-ramp location or e entry location on-ramp. Now, now I'm stuck on that. Um, but this is very, very handy. This is very, very nice. Once again, working title just keeps changing the game for us so i'm very very impressed with that work um thank you for all of your hard efforts guys and that's really all i've got for you on this one guys i just wanted to make sure i shed that one out there to you because that's a pretty big game changer um it's going to make things significantly easier when creating your flight plans so as always guys st stay safe stay healthy i'll see you in the next one which will be tomorrow so until then talk to you guys soon